bring in staff writer at The Atlantic, Frank Four. He's the author of the new book titled The Last Politician Inside Joe Biden's White House and the Struggle for America's Future. Frank, good morning. Good to see you. Congrats on the book. Thank you. Great a lot of people here. talking about it. As you point out, a lot of people haven't read the book talking about it. I have opinions about it already. Um, we were just talking a minute ago about this issue of age yes. within that Wall Street Journal poll, something the White House can't run from because it's not just Republicans. It is Democrats, 7 and 10, who say they're worried about Joe Biden's age at 80 years old, despite the fact he's only three years older than Donald Trump. How is the White House managing this? How seriously are they taking it? And has that changed in the last few months or so? I mean, of course it's changed as we get closer to this election. And I think that they could have probably leaned into this issue much earlier because the story that I, I, I tell in my book is of a president who is extremely experienced, who's dealing with these very difficult foreign policy changes where we're, on the, we're fighting a proxy war against a major nuclear power. Our relationship with China has become incredibly tense, and he has to thread the needle on these things. And the fact that he served on the Judiciary uh, Senate Foreign Relations Committee for all those years, that he was vice president, that experience has been the thing that's allowed him to do something that's extremely difficult and extremely consequential. Um, but they, they've they've run away from the age issue and kind of ignored the fact that you, you know anybody with eyes can see that, that Joe Biden is is extremely old. One issue that they have leaned into, of course, is his leadership on the world stage. And, and your book has some revelations about how he's managed the war in Ukraine yes. uh, and trying to keep that alliance together, but also his relationship with Ukrainian President Zelensky. Tell us about it. So it's a complicated relationship. It began. It got off on the wrong foot. The first meeting that they had in the White House, there was um, this sense that Zelensky, who was just getting into politics, he was a comedian, wasn't up to the job. Biden, who is this wizened politician, didn't really truly respect Zelensky at that first meeting, and it was tense. And over time, it's actually remained a little bit of a difficult relationship that when, on the eve of the war, the United States had Russia's war plans in technicolor, and they tried to persuade Zelensky to take all sorts of defensive action. And those meetings were very difficult because whatever Zelensky was doing in private to protect Ukraine, he wasn't communicating to the United States or to the president in public. And so that relationship was tough. Over time, it's become more mature. And now the United States uh, military and the Ukrainian military are, are integrated in a very profound sort of way. And one of the things that I think Biden's political skills have allowed him to do is to overcome the fact that this world of ours only a couple of years ago was basically indifferent to global authoritarianism and he's helped rally the alliance he's helped get the aid moving through congress in epic proportions and that that in and of itself was not inevitable